Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Expert Iron Man Difficulty. Episode number 50 and we're nearing the end of the overall game. But there are still a couple of things to do, such as uh, the Tome of the Ancients here. Big fat reward, but uh, the money at this point isn't our main motivator. Really, the main motivator is getting that sweet, sweet loot. I have to wonder what is going to wait for us inside of the ruins. And I also have to wonder whether 50% fatigue will be enough for an entire ruins run. I think we're just going to take a nice little nap outside. Get all of uh, the bonuses going for us. Pay the mercenaries for extra happiness. And then we're going to go in with extra XP. In terms of overall level, Namri has made it to level 11 and uh, so did Enders. But we're still training everybody else. Once we have a uh, full group at level 11, uh, we uh, can equip new items, the ones that I smith. But I figured might as well do that once and not a dozen times. Okay. Very good. Let's engage with Drombark's uh, tomb. We got 50 light. Might be a little bit too less. Let me just craft um, a few torches. I want to make sure that we can do it in one sitting and don't need to go back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, we're going to go in properly. Additionally, I am wondering, uh, shall we put torches in the offhand uh, of some of our melee compat uh, compatriots? That would mean less armor, but overall just more visibility. I think that's a good Oh, that's a good compromise. Our tanks are torch bearers now. Good, and here we start the exploration. Drombach Tome, the last one. The statue says so the writing beneath the statue was defaced with a chisel. Interesting. You feel a drought coming from the right hand side, a drought. Might as well use our miner to go through here. Should be easy enough. Okay, and the statue's head is covered in a thick layer of dust. As expected, there's nothing really in the first room. Let's continue our exploration. We're a little bit light on Valor points, but given that we have good Valor generation, I think we're actually okay. The chariot crumbled to dust at the slightest touch. You have gained Rimstone and Sapphires. Okay. And we have the Red Tea Fighter symbol. Okay, Red Tea Fighter it is. Let's continue our exploration here on the right hand side. We got an older puzzle here. Let's see, so that and that is definitely correct. 
moving this to here is fine. That's up there. And that's the middle section. We just need to turn it around. Good. Understood another rune, uh, which is good. I think we were only missing two at this point. Here is the tablet, uh, but we only know red TIE fighter so far. Moving on to the middle, potentially an ambush, could imagine. Yeah, not a surprise, right? We're fighting level 12s uh, for a change. Normally it's always level 14, last time we're prepared. And we do have light plenty thereof, so I'm actually quite confident that this is going to work out. Oh, forgot to put Enders uh, onto torch duty as well. Not the end of the world, we do have two pieces of light. Good. Apparently no one from here. Namri is bracing for impact. Good. Miss Grell on the other hand... Uh, let's just get rid of the mole rat. These buggers are easy to kill. Plenty of kills. I think we're just going to stay here as the tank on the upper uh, side, putting that Triforce in place again. Tanks stand out and are just waiting to engage the enemy. Roby the bear searches for something down here. Finds nothing, we'll just stay there. It's pretty clear at this point that we're uh, being attacked from the north flank. Jim will help out. And easily kills one, no problem. Yeah, thankfully for us, we finally found the trick for these uh, tomes, which is uh, just have enough. Um, light. It's really that simple. Can't really find anyone here. And I don't want to take any risks, so we're just sticking with the team. Power numbers is always... All right, lots of enemies from over here. 
some from over there. Moving up. We're using our archers, mainly because they're typically not that useful. In the meantime, Roby Snow is being surrounded, which is good because every single hit builds up rage, and rage means he will go berserk quicker. Pretty sure we had a few reds down here. But since we're not seeing any, we're instead just continuing to hold our position. Plenty of vermin moves in the dark. I think it's really most efficient to let Roby tank also minimizes the amount of um, armor deterioration that we have to suffer. Position ourselves here. It's not so good to have uh, Roby burn, but I do have a plan with a position, and we can always heal Roby. Matter of fact, we should. All right, heal him up. Move up. Wow. Wow, if we can hit three, if we can hit three, this build is amazing. Question is, could I, could I improve in my, in my ability to hit three or more? We know there's another red uh, right near us. All right, that worked out well. is almost at Berserk territory. And we're just clustering up at this point. There we go. That's why you always scout. There's always that one more red that wants to break your defenses. Come in when it's not invited. Okay. 
Southlink is secured by Namri. Just have to wonder where are all of the enemies. There we go. Um, yeah, let's start testing our berserk. We have officially entered berserk mode. I'll use our range characters and just pass the turns because I don't want to uh, go into the darkness with them. Okay, short exploration. still two over there. Good luck. Well, even more. The amount of enemies in the end game is something else. It's very much observable, but the game just throws larger numbers at you. And overall higher level, but the cre uh, power creep for the characters is also noticeable. I mean, compared to what we've seen before, the characters deal way more damage, are stronger. And can almost one-shot everything. Well, someone broke through our defense. Let's get that creeper. Good, we're almost done. At least galvanizing suggests that. Fantastic. Wow. What a long fight. And we're running out of repair tools. Well, fantastic, Psych. And that is, of course, the number one uh, thing that you should have when exploring the runes repair tools. Okay, good enough for one more fight. I will say, though, that we need a different offense. More light and yeah. Okay, so we got blue Triforce, red TIE Fighter. Scrolls have very much turned to dust here as well. Blue tri uh, Triforce, Red TIE Fighter. Oh man, yet another ambush. I thought I was okay, but nah. 
Nope. Sorry. So we're building the same Triforce again. The problem that we're having is we're having almost no tools left. And the challenge here is even we're fighting very well, we're always going to take some form of damage. Good, just gotta be really, really careful. Prince into the dark, gets this guy, moves back into the light. Unfortunately, the mole red uh, is going for Dilly G. Are we seeing anyone else here? Um, tell you what, could go in, deal more damage, but the question is, would we kill the rat? We don't need to guess, we can, we still have uh, mm, Wrath, such a good ability. Uh, we need to secure this flank here as well. Oh, small hits add up. Because they will cost us a lot of uh, repair, uh, repair tools. Good, done. That side is safe and secure. Let's just position ourselves over here. The problem is now the southern flank is open. Fragility into... Solid kill. Again, Dilly G is standing too exposed. Good, we're going to tank here for a moment. It's much better to have Jim tank than Dilly.
This encounter seems easier than the other one. We're already having galvanization. That's a good sign. But they do have reinforcements, theoretically. And I haven't triggered the threshold for uh, fleeing yet. There we go, there are the reinforcements. Oh, too bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, and some down there. Not good. Good. Roby moves up here. Let's try to kill a couple of them before they can become a real problem. Lovely. Lovely. But we know a lot of them will be coming from the top side. Enders moves up. means Miss Grell is holding that side. There are definitely a few coming from the left hand side. Lily hits the creeper. Can't follow up. That's too far. That is too far. We're seeing more activity on the other side. Yeah, let's free us up and make sure that we kill this creeper. out of armor <laughs> solid one shot and let's heal Dilly Okay, fantastic. That into big fat rat slaying. Good, we're officially out of armor over here means Miss Grell is running on fumes. J 
then body blocks and we'll continue to tank but if we do have galvanization this should be easy Fantastic. Good. We're resorting to rather extreme means because uh, we need to dismantle loot. Again, not the end of the world. But having the extra tools to repair goes a long way specifically the tanks need to be repaired um. good Good enough, good enough. We do have a few tools left over. And for now, it's good enough. These creatures were devoured by something much bigger. Well, fan fantastic. Uh, yellow window, uh, red TIE fighter, uh, blue Triforce. Let's hope we're not running into something much bigger. Last time we got a lot of injuries out of uh, that room. I'll be careful this time. Or I haven't fully understood the puzzle. In the name of Jeru and the God of Light, you will answer my question, scholar. What was that abomination protecting? You wouldn't understand even if I told you, you zealot. Vivian was consumed by darkness. Well, this guys, what is happening? This sacrificed himself so that I could reach the lever and shut the door. Without him, none of us would have survived. I gave him a remedy, but he needs time to recover. Do not open this door! Do not let it out! You've shown up at a good time, mercenaries. Perhaps you can get us out of this mess. Our objective is on the other side of this door. But these foolish inquisitors attracted a monster. It's a miracle we managed to escape with our lives. It's a miracle we followed you. Without my men sacrificed, you would all be dead. If you hadn't been snooping around, you wouldn't have set off the trap. And the relic would be in our hands. So it is a relic you're looking for. What for? Answer me. Perfect. We're going right into the middle of a episode of both of them losing their... Uh, losing their ish. Uh, we are fully healed up, more or less, so it won't get any better than that. Let's see what kind of monster they are talking about. The Creeper King. Uh oh. Misshapen Creeper. Didn't know that the creepers had a king. Cool, so some of our friends do have torches. That in itself is good.
The part that is not so good is uh, the positioning here. Let's take a look. There is a wall, stairs, all of this is open. Um, So the question is, where do we put our tanks, right? Bear to here. Um, da -da 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 -da. I think that is okay. Okay, we got tank here, here, and here. These guys are irrelevant. Um, one, two, three. Four. Okay, that's the best we can get. Lots of orderly. Moving up. And we are fighting against an unknown number of enemies, which is always the best number of enemies. My experience is in this game, an unknown number of enemies tends to be many many more than you would have guessed 14,000 hit points deals 410 damage to all units in the area and applies bleeding oh sh well i can tell you something we need to tank this guy Fourteen thousand hit points. Oh boy. Um, okay, well, how do we deal with that? Good, let's start with weakening. Can only hit those two. Taking the bleed off of her. moving a tiny bit back. Okay, well, hmm. She still has guard. Which I think we should protect at any cost. 
Um, first we'll get that done. Okay, now he's burning. Oh, that's a good start. Yeah, we need to rotate our tank aggro. dealing with me now and I think it's the best idea to keep him engaged hmm that plan backfired a bit good next best plan send in the bear is he already weakened? Fragile. Weakened. Uh. Okay. Um. So he begins to move up here. That's one down. And now we can go to town on this guy. life leeching that sucks but it could be worse for starters or healing there is a hit and we somehow uh, hit him for a thousand points of damage. Another 500. Damage values are becoming crazier and crazier. This looks more like a World of Warcraft raid than a normal game. Jim helps with brutality. And we're moving up here. The guy he heals for 400. Not a problem. Because he's uh, receiving 400 points of damage. And we can heal for at least a portion of that. He already bleeds, which means this is going to be a crit. More hits. Attacks from behind. More attacks from behind. Uh, 
Every 50 damage counts, so might as well make it count. Bear has now officially gone totally and utterly berserk. Healing the bear. Five hundred points of damage. This guy is eating damage as uh, as if it would be cereals for breakfast. Barely over half of his hit points. Deals 800 points of damage now. Just a bit too much. Can't uh, sustain that for a long period of time. Um, We need to weaken the guy, but we have plenty of turns to do so. Oh, we're immobile with the ones that he uh, pushed back. Damage, more damage, infectious wound, don't want to taunt him off. Uh, I rather want to stay here so that we can have brutality for anyone who's attacking him. Fragility, yes. And now damage. We've gone berserk, but why are we going berserk now and not earlier? Hmm. He would have the sentry here, could just disengage. I think we're going to do that. Oh, well, we need some healing. Here. And he has a sentry, so he should be engaging with that sentry. Just killed Roby. That 
beast. More fragility. Can't really engage with him. Could taunt him. Potentially the best idea. Everybody is dying. What is even going on? Oh, wow. We've got our ass seriously handed to us. Rip Roby. And wow, that was a tough boss battle. Zoe, I think, got an aptitude point for what exactly? The scarred? Okay, well, I think that's a great opportunity for today's playthrough to end. And um, to come back uh, when we are ready to uh, kill this monstrosity. I do have an idea how we can do it better. But first, I need a new bear many 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 more uh, um, repair kits and uh, i need the like button badly thanks for watching guys uh, um, not everybody uh, not every episode can be a win that one was a close one thanks for watching have a good one bye bye